All right, guys, so I'm here a little bit early. Um, the, the training in the preseason hasn't begun yet. Um, so I flew in yesterday and my legs are sore, my body's tired because I had a training session early that morning before my flight. So now basically I'm just gonna run you through uh, an active recovery workout, foam rolling, stretching, light weights, that kind of thing. And I'll bring you down uh, and show you guys what that's all about. So see you. All right, guys, so we're in the gym. It's actually a, uh, a pretty nice gym to show you guys around. Um, it's definitely enough for, you know, like what I'm doing. Um, wow, look at those bad boys. 50 pounds. Actually, never mind. I thought they were bigger. <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, I'll set you guys up in a place and show you what I'm going to do. It's going to be basically like recovery, so a lot of foam rolling stretching light weights uh, nothing to the point where you know it'll be sore for the first training session and whatnot but just stuff to kind of keep me active and and keep my body you know in shape and all that good stuff so we'll cut right to it guys All right, guys, so excuse me if the camera's a little uh, wobbly just because it's on the bike. So right now, I am on the bike, and I'll probably bike for a good 15 minutes maybe, something not too difficult, but just to get the legs moving. Um, and yeah, so we did foam rolling. It's super important to make sure you, you add foam rolling and, and stretching into your, your workouts and recovery just because, you know, it plays a huge role and being able to perform, and not only perform, but also perform, perform consistently after game after game, training session after training session. So it's one of those things that the higher level you go, the more important and more focus you need to put on that. I also realize my mask is on backward. Backwards, God, I gotta get better at this stuff. Also, I kinda wanted to add in a little bit about um, you know, the opportunity. It's a professional preseason and there'll be, you know, coach, coaches from multiple teams and, and specific teams that are um, looking to fill the rosters and stuff. And I think it's important to, when you have this mentality to, uh, when you go into these things, it's important to have the mentality to not necessarily feel like you have to show off, that you have to whatever, because it's like you're there for a reason, you were selected for a reason. and. Um, it's one of those things where I think the more, uh, this is my first like professional one, but during college and all that stuff, um, you know, over time you start to get more comfortable with them and understanding that, you know, it takes time and you don't want to go in there and be like, oh, I got to do this. Like, you know, it's not important necessarily to focus on getting the contract. It's like, all right, I'm going to go there, forget the contract, forget trying to impress coaches. I'm going to go there and play like I know how to play. Do what I normally do, and if that stuff comes, great. If not, there'll be other opportunities. Because I feel like if you put so much pressure in your mind of, oh my God, I gotta, this is my chance, this is, this is, this is, and you just kind of like freak yourself out, then at that point, you're putting so much pressure on yourself, and you're so nervous, to where it's like, dude, just go in there, do your thing, be relaxed, be calm, 
and be ready to go and make sure you're prepared, you know? Because in my opinion, confidence comes from preparation. So just a little bit about that. So guys, we just finished that recovery session. Nothing crazy, nothing too insane, but just stuff that um, is important to do. Um, I only, I put like one cut for each thing because if I did everything, it would be like way too long. But uh, I figured that would be the best way to do it cinematically. But yeah, just do, I usually do three to four reps of everything. And if I'm feeling more sore in a certain area, then I'll usually stick to, uh, I might do a little extra and whatever that may be. So yeah, so now it's just maintenance and, and waiting for the big day. So peace. All right, guys, so we just got back to my hotel room. Um, it's a pretty nice hotel. Um, it's not too bad. It's got kind of, the view's kind of cool, see if we'll focus. Nice view of just another hotel, so nothing, nothing too special. But uh, yeah, so I'll show you what I'm gonna eat quick. It's gonna be simple, um, just because uh, it's simple. Just some Greek yogurt right here. Probably chill out. I'm gonna edit this video today. Uh, you know, hang out, relax, maybe meet up with some people. Um, and yeah, you know, training doesn't start until uh, till the 8th, so I have a little bit of time to just kind of get ready mentally, physically, and just, you know, go for it. So thank you guys for following along. Uh, there'll be more videos like this to come. Um, I'm going to try to post as much as I can. So thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.